Hi, I'm Don Jones. Thank you for tuning in to our vodcast. My co-host, Melissa Reams. Hi, everybody. Our deputy city manager. And, of course, our producer, Michelle Charles. Our videographer, Eric Moreau, who's behind the camera. <laughs> we have our guest today is Christy Driscoll. She's our human resources director. And she actually joined us on our very first podcast. And we asked her to please, please, please come back and join us today. And we're going to talk about... Tips and tricks and how to stand out from the rest. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Christy. Well, thank you for having me. So talk to us. Tell us tell us all the things. How how do we stand out from the rest when we're applying? First thing you have to know is what you're applying for. Okay. So go to our website, stillwater.org. You can launch it from the homepage and apply for a job. Or you can hit stillwater.org slash employment. You're going to hit that link. It's going to have all of our job postings. Click around on there. You're going to click on a job mm -hmm. title link, and it's going to have the job description. If you click on that, it's going to do be the hours, the salary, the requirements, and what you need to do to apply. So that's step one is figure out what you're applying for. Step two would be make sure you do what we ask. So this is your first introduction, um, our first introduction to you. Mm -hmm. so complete the application. Um, have someone proof it if you can. It's a great online form now, so you can complete it as you go through. Right. It's very easy. Do it through your iPad, through your phone. Is there spell check? I'm not sure if there's spell check. So use your use your words and your eyes and maybe try. It may underline for us. I, 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 I remember, yeah. New. But, that, but I think that's one of the things uh, that I look at that catches my eye. And we all do it. I mean, I can look and prep a resume and, and have my husband look at it. And still our eye gl glosses over certain mm -hmm. things. But just do your dead level best to check the spelling. I'm, I'm not as big a punctuation person. Some people are punctuation people. But again, to Christy's point, that is your first impression or our first impression that we have of you. So do your due diligence in that area. I love that you're saying that just from a communication standpoint. And believe me, I do my best editing after I press send. <laughs> but yes, it's yeah. too late then. It, Best way to find your mistakes. So. Yes. And, and I always <laughs> try not to look back at it. And I'm like, oh, no. But punctuation matters. It truly does. It does. And, and spelling and all the things. And completed applications. Because I believe... One of our lovely HR employees shared with me that uh, recently when I had a job posting that an individual didn't complete their application, so it wasn't submitted for the position. Right. Oh. Yeah, we'll post on the job posting if an application, cover letter, resume, different jobs are going to have mm -hmm. different requirements for what you're going to mm -hmm. apply, what materials they request. Basic is the application. Every position mm -hmm. we have is going to request that application. Mm -hmm. Gather some information before you sit down. Mm -hmm. Know your previous employers, the dates that you had right. employments. Be ready to explain what job you mm -hmm. held there. And if you do attach a resume, don't just put on our application C resume. Mm. Um, it's a benefit, but there's things that we ask for in an application that aren't on everybody's mm -hmm. resume. And then again, we want to see, are you willing to put the work for us in the application? Can, mm. we, can we scan through that? Can we look and see the qualifications? And can you follow instructions? Can you follow instructions. Good point. Very good point to Dawn's point is, you know, if let's say we have a job that says you have to have a resume mm -hmm. and cover letter attached and you only send in an application and resume, if we can't get you to follow the instructions on your application, then we probably can't trust you to do the big things mm -hmm. I agree. that we would require. Right. So Absolutely. Just fit forward. Look at it. Make sure you have the things ready. Have somebody else look at it mm -hmm. for you. And just think that this is me in person, but on paper, this is what they're going to see. Right. This is the impression I'm leaving. Do yourself a favor and, and do your best. Yeah. Right. So we get to the interview. You've made it to the, you've made it to the first cut. Mm -hmm. What, what, or do we normally have a, a, what do we call them, Zoom interview? Do we normally do that, video interview? We have some different ways. So if you apply for some of our applications are reviewed daily positions, mm -hmm. and then you're going to get it immediately screened that same day mm -hmm. by a member of my team. She's going to give you a quick call back and do through a phone interview mm -hmm. and go through that process. And then there's going to be some different steps for different positions. Mm -hmm. If you apply for, let's say, police dispatcher, then you're going to be getting a link mm -hmm. to an online interview mm -hmm. that is a video interview mm -hmm. um, with some questions. Some of the positions that we have just a large number of applicants for, yeah. that's a very good touch base to screen mm -hmm. and get to meet the person through that instead of having mm -hmm. to 
play with time. Our applicants' time are as important as ours. And Absolutely. we understand it can be hard to take time off a current job to come in and apply for us. Mm-hmm. So we want to give some different options, like mm-hmm. those touch base of phones and those. Mm-hmm. So we get to the in-person interview. What? Give us some just pointers, because I think as, in some regards, as a society, our our standards have lowered. We're a lot more casual. Yes, that's a good way to put it. That's a good way to put it. A couple of things when you first fill out an interview. I totally was with you the whole way there. I knew exactly where you were going. Because she knows what Uh, kind of my pet peeves are. I was riding with you on that train. So a couple of things from start to finish. Make sure you have an email that you are going to check. Mm-hmm. Make sure it's a work appropriate email address. <laughs> mm-hmm. Nice. Mm-hmm. You Good point. Want to. Your yes. current personal email address may not put your best foot forward. There you go. When you leave a phone number, make sure you have voicemail set up. And make sure that your voicemail greeting yes. is also what you want a prospective yeah. employer to mm-hmm. hear. We, for, we forget some of those little things right. Right? when we're applying for jobs. Check emails. If you put an email down, make sure you're going to check your emails. Mm-hmm. Then when you get to the interview, be on time. Mm-hmm. I love that. Or be early because mm-hmm. if you're on time, you may be late. Right. Yeah. When you get here, we're going to have you give you a copy of the job description just to make sure that, mm-hmm. hey, we're going to ask some questions mm-hmm. on this. Be prepared. One, know the job that you applied for mm-hmm. and know the job that you're interviewing mm-hmm. for. We will give you that information when you schedule. So when you show up, please know what you're here for. Hey, I'm going to interview with somebody, and I don't remember the job title, yeah. is not your best interest. Right. Yeah. So be done. Be dressed appropriately. Now, appropriately is going to be different depending on the job mm-hmm. that you apply for. If you're applying for one of our frontline maintenance employees, then jeans and a polo shirt is perfectly mm-hmm. acceptable. Mm-hmm. If you're applying for a different job, mm-hmm. think again. The effort you took to prepare yourself for the interview mm-hmm. is what we're taking as a representative. Mm-hmm. Uh, We always have the inside information that an applicant is the best they're ever going to be. So if that applicant is late, they're going to be late as an employee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is a great point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, And you're right about that. Yeah. So just be prepared. Um, We all understand nerves. Mm-hmm. So it's okay to come in and be nervous yes. um, or wipe your hand on your mm-hmm. hands, right? when you yeah. shake hands. Like we understand um, our whole hope is to put you at ease through that process. We want to see who you really are. Yeah. Ask questions. And perfect. we've all been there. We're here. Yeah, yeah. exactly. We, we've all been through the process. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Yeah. so yeah, I think back to Christy was the HR director when, when I got hired and I keep thinking about what did she find that she has never told me about on on my application or my resume or any of that. Oh, you're so good. (laughs) (laughs) If you have questions, that's what me and my team are here Mm -hmm. for. Don't hesitate to call and say, Mm -hmm. hey, this is my very first interview. What can I expect? Mm -hmm. Or call and say, I'm having difficulties getting time off from work. Is there a different option? There you go. We want an employee that wants us, Mm -hmm. and we're going to show our best foot forward in that process, Mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. We want to show that we are a kind and generous employer Mm -hmm. in that process. So don't hesitate to reach out to us and tap Mm -hmm. into the resources that we have. And, And you are, and I can speak to this about you and your team, some of the most hardworking, empathetic, uh, thorough uh, team members that we have here in the city, and I appreciate your entire team. Yeah, they, you guys have always helped me through every single step from me um, through the application to being hired to being here as an employee, always supportive and uh, quick with guidance and to hold my hand when I need it. So, uh, yeah, I appreciate you and, and your entire Thank team. You. We try and, and stay accessible, whether that means yep. to our current employees or our yep. perspective. And, and, and the, the, the attitudes are always so positive they and cheery. Are, no matter and what how, gets thrown at you. I was about to say, and how, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Some of the things you guys deal with, and you just, yep, talk to some of our HR gals, and they're just chipper and funny and fun and ready to go mm, they just so, roll with the flow very few things surprise us anymore and I mean, <laughs> in our, our demeanors yes oh, um, christy <laughs> so going back to the interview process one of the things i've noticed when i've had friends you know family members applying for different jobs mm-hmm. even when i've applied for jobs when i applied for this job mm-hmm. you know you have to sit there and you have to think about 
what skills do I have? Not just what was my job title, Mm -hmm. not just, you know, what were a couple of things I can think of off the top of my head that I did every day, but what did that actually mean? What did it require me to Mm -hmm. do in order to accomplish those Mm -hmm. things? And how do those things translate to the job that I want now? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And that's why when we say when you sit down to do your application, we don't want you to attach your job description from the previous job that you had. We want to tell us how you made a difference Mm -hmm. and how you'll make a difference in this Mm -hmm. or how that experience applies to the one that you're applying for now. Mm -hmm. Give us that information and and help us out. And when we're going to ask, do you have any certifications that are Mm -hmm. applied to this or do you have any skills? Be proactive and this is the time to brag on yourself. Right. Share the goals, share the experience, Mm -hmm. share the difference makers. Mm -hmm. That's what we want to hear in an interview. That's really what you want to come in with Mm -hmm. is it's that moment to say, here's what I can do for you. Yeah. Here's what I've done, and here's what I can apply yeah. those skills to. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. That makes a lot of sense. Do we have, as an employer, do you have any non-negotiables? Non-negotiables as far as our applicant or once you're an employee? Well, maybe kind of both. Uh, for our applicant process, you are going to have to pass a drug screen. Mm-hmm. And so uh, if you do have a medical marijuana card, go ahead and come talk to my team. Okay. Um, there are processes we have in place. And there are certain positions that that is a game changer versus not. Right. We have a bunch of public safety mm-hmm. uh, positions, either mm-hmm. through police and fire or equipment operations or water, that it is a non-negotiable right. skill. But we have different processes that we can do. So mm-hmm. if there's questions or concerns on that, don't hesitate to come talk to us. It's the same with, you know, we want to say that there are some non-negotiables as far as ability to do jobs, mm-hmm. but we accommodate. Right. And so if you have a disability or you mm-hmm. need assistance in the workplace or through the application process, we want to talk to you. Mm-hmm. Don't shy away because it says something that you would have to need an accommodation mm-hmm. to do. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Our non-negotiables are, though, we want somebody who wants to serve our citizens. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's Absolutely. one of the big ones is we're going to give an opportunity to somebody who wants to serve and who meets those skills. And then that's what we expect in return for mm-hmm. those that employment Right, is that heart to serve, that citizens are why we're all Mm -hmm, here, mm -hmm. and just that heart and that goal to come in and do better every day. Yeah, absolutely. And I appreciate the work that you you all have done, uh, Norman and Melissa and you and your team, to uh, be competitive with pay, to lean into Mm -hmm. other areas and see what those salaries look like. And and right now, we're in a, a tough time, you know, nationwide as far as economy. And so for you guys to have done that and put that time into it, uh, you know, speaks to uh, who we are as an employer um, with pay, with benefits. Um, you know, our benefits have improved mm-hmm. um, and our hours, depending upon the position. Uh, you know, we do have uh, city hall hours now that are more customer service oriented and employee friendly. Mm-hmm. Um, and so that is Monday through Thursday, 7.30 to 5.30, and then Friday, 7.30 to 11.30 here at City Hall. Uh, And we have, uh, we actually not long ago had Dana Maddox on here with us, Mm -hmm. and she spoke to uh, the increase of customers who are utilizing that 30 minutes before and 30 minutes after a general uh, work day. Uh, And our employees appreciate that time too. Yeah. Yeah, we do. And I I will say the other thing that I think this type of an organization offers is a much more balanced uh, approach to work and family. Um, I didn't know this until recently that when an employer talks about being a family, that that can have a very negative connotation Mm -hmm. and that can mean that we own you. Right. You know, okay. and we expect you to right. sacrifice for for everything for the company. Right. Well, I view us as a family, but we don't expect you to sacrifice everything. No. You no. know, it it's pretty much I work my whatever my schedule is and then I go home. And I have family time and I have quality family mm-hmm. time. And then I come back and I work and I go home. Right. And um I, I don't know that you can put a price on that. You know, and we're big into relationship building. We are. 
We yeah. are. So, but we I've quit were, using family yeah, when we I were, talk to. <laughs> right. Well, well, we're we're the family that we chose to be part of. Not exactly. Into. Exactly. So there is a difference, yeah. but we are big into relationships here and and having that respect for each other and working together. Exactly. And I think that work family balance is a sign of respect. Mm -hmm. Another way we show a sign of respect is. We run the gamut here. Mm -hmm. We've got lawyers and engineers mm -hmm. and fire and police, That's library, right. customer service, billing, accounting, mm -hmm. you know, to frontline public works, waste right. management. Who we, we are so thankful yes. for. Mm -hmm. We have so much that we take care of. So come work for us. And we're going to support you if you have an endeavor to move up mm -hmm. in the organization mm -hmm. or right. across in the organization. Mm -hmm. We can help get you there through training and development. Mm -hmm. We can also, once you're in, come tell us, hey, I'd like to work over here in this division. Mm -hmm. Is there something I need to be doing different? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. There's a benefit that I definitely want to point out and that I think you need to talk about more. Public service loan forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Working for a municipal government oh. qualifies you yes. for public service loan forgiveness, which is a huge thing for people who have student loans. Yes, absolutely. And... We off also offer tuition support yes. after you've been here, what, six months? Six months. And I, 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 there are numerous people that have either they're going back and getting their bachelor's mm -hmm. or they're going to pursue a master's. Right. And we are helping them do that. Absolutely. And if you're intrigued by anything we've said here today, <laughs> the, the holidays, the loan forgiveness, the tuition reimbursement, right. the advancement. Things. Yes. Come see oh, us. Yeah. Yes. Stop by and see my team. You can actually text us at 405-742-8281. Another text thing. I love it. I know. <laughs> okay, so say that again. We have a text service. 405-742-8281. If you're interested in being a fire applicant or a police applicant, you can text the word fire or police to that number, and you'll be notified awesome. the next time that we have an opening. Mm -hmm. And or if it's just difficult to get a hold of us during your normal hours because you're sitting in a cubicle at somebody else's employment, text us. Mm -hmm. and we'll text you back. There you go. There you go. Love that. Right. So you can call. You can go online, stillwater.org forward slash employment. You can email us. You can now text as well. So all the things. Mm -hmm. You can be on 15-minute break somewhere and drop a quick text or a call and we're going to get back to you and your preferred method of communication. Right, right. Well, thank you so much for all of this information. Uh, all th These are all great tips and tricks and just a little bit more about benefits, about working for the city of Stillwater. Mm -hmm. Many thanks to Christy and her team for all that they do. And thank you all for joining us. That's about all the time we have. So together we are investing in municipal excellence. Thanks again.